Hey, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's video, Erin will be sharing with you her all-time favorite top nail essentials. Hey guys, it's Erin. So my first nail essential is this Melt Away Cuticle Exfoliator by Butter London. I really prefer not to cut my cuticles just because you run the risk of cutting live skin and possibly getting an infection. So I just prefer to use a cuticle remover and I really love this one. I've been using it for years. So how I use it is I just apply it to the base of my nail and I like to work one hand at a time. Then I'm just going to let that sit for about 30 seconds and then I'm taking an orange wood stick to gently push back my cuticles and scrape away any dead skin. I like using an orange wood stick for this step just because it's a little bit more gentle than a metal tool and it gets the job done pretty well of removing any of the cuticle that the exfoliator lifted off. Then all you need to do after using this product is wash your hands with soap and water to remove the chemical and I think my cuticles look better already. My next essential is my all-time favorite cuticle oil. This is the Bliss Kiss Simply Pure Hydrating Oil. My favorite scent is the crisp scent but it comes in a bunch of different ones. You can get the cuticle oil in the pen like this and all you need to do is twist the one end and then it's going to come out out of this brush tip. So I like brushing it across all of my nails and cuticles and I also like to get under each nail just so my entire nail is hydrated with the oil. Cuticle oil is essential for keeping your nails and cuticles moisturized and healthy. You're going to see a really big difference in the health of your nails and cuticles when you use this consistently. So after applying it, I'm just massaging the oil in to really let it seep into my cuticles. My next nail essential is a glass nail file. I 100% recommend using a glass nail file over any other kind of emery board. They are so much longer lasting. I've had ones for years that have not dulled and they're also easy to clean and sanitize. They're long lasting, they work really well, and as you can see here, it's really pulling less at my nail than any emery board will. A glass nail file has a really nice fine grit to get you a smooth edge when filing when an emery board might kind of tear at your nails a little bit and leave some frayed edges. So I really prefer a file like this and I think the final result turns out really great. My next nail essential is the Orly Bonder base coat. I tend to switch between base coats a lot because I have trouble finding one I really like but I've been using this one a lot lately and I'm really enjoying it. It kind of dries to this rubberized finish, that's its whole claim, so it almost feels like it's really grabbing onto the polish to make it last longer. So it goes on the nail pretty clear and then it just dries really quickly and yeah, I think it really helps the longevity of my manicure. Now my next nail essential is kind of the opposite because there are some times where I don't want my nail polish to last super long. So in those cases, I really like using the UNT Ready for Takeoff Peel Off Base Coat. This is really great if you're using a glitter polish that's really hard to remove because it will just peel that nail polish off easily and you don't have to have the hassle of scrubbing at it with acetone. So here I'm just applying a thick coat and letting it dry completely. And I'm gonna go in with this really chunky glitter polish that would be really difficult to remove. Now once it's completely dry, I can just take a tool and start peeling up that nail polish. If you've been wearing this base coat with nail polish on top for a few days, it will really pop off in one hard shell, but here it's peeling a little bit more. And as you can see, it removes super easily, just peeling it off, no cleanup needed. It's really great for when I don't wanna have to bother removing glitter nail polishes. My next nail essential is my go-to top coat, which is the Butter London Hardware Shine UV Top Coat. This top coat dries really quickly and really hard, which is kind of a weird quality that it has, but it just means that I'm not going to dent my nail polish once this is dried. It's not too thick and not too thin, applies really nice and shiny, and dries quickly, so this is usually my go-to for any manicure when I need a top coat. Next up on my nail essentials is liquid latex. My favorite one is the Bliss Kiss Simply Peel. 
And the reason I like it so much is because it has this nice wide brush so I can really apply a good thick layer around my nail. And it also dries clear with little glitters in it, which is kind of fun. <laughs> So here I'm just applying it all around my nail and cuticle and letting it dry completely. And then I'm going to do some messy nail art like this gradient where I would usually have to clean it up. But I can easily take some tweezers and peel off all that mess. Next on my list is another great nail cleanup essential. I always have to have a cleanup brush on hand. This is my current favorite. It's by What's Up Nails and it's got this super fun mermaid theme to it with rainbow colors and it's all metallic with a fun little tail at the end. My favorite cut is an angled cut of a brush like this. I just think it really helps you get into the cuticle to clean it up. So all you're going to do is dip that brush into some acetone and gently go around the edge of your cuticle and the side of your nail to clean up any stray nail polish. So as you can see, any little bits of nail polish that the liquid latex might have missed, I'm able to remove quickly with the brush. And there you have a super clean manicure. On the topic of brushes, my next nail essential are my favorite nail art brushes. These are my three go-to's. They're all by Midi, and they each have their own fun name to them. Each of these is a different size and length, so I tend to use them for different things, but this pink one is usually the one I reach for the most, so here you can see me just doing a quick French tip with it. These brushes are already really thin, but if you like to cut down your brushes further like I like to sometimes, it's really easy to do that. And it's just really helpful to have brushes like these for nail art. They don't break down in acetone, and they help you create some really fun designs. If you're not ambitious enough for nail art, my other nail essential is rhinestones. These are my personal favorites. This set is super cheap on Amazon and it comes with six different sizes of iridescent rhinestones. I really love how sparkly and iridescent these light up, so I think they go with almost anything. And you can really create some fun looks with them. Here are just a few examples of ways you can use the rhinestones, but definitely get creative because there's so many sizes and options. And my last nail essential is kind of a nail and hand care essential. This is my favorite hand cream. I use it every day. It's the Neutrogena Norwegian Formula hand cream. So I just like to take a little bit and rub that all into my hands and my nails and cuticles. I really like this lotion because I think it really penetrates the skin and helps keep them moisturized. It's also really great if you have dry skin on your elbows. So definitely recommend this one. I've been using it for a long time and it's my go-to hand lotion. And that's it for my 10 nail essentials. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more from Cute Polish, you can click the boxes here or click the circle here to subscribe to Cute Polish for new videos every week. You can also click the circle here to subscribe to my personal nail art channel.